Hello everyone, greetings from New York. I'm at the Goalkeepers event of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, joined by the Global Director for Agriculture Development at the Foundation, Mr. Enoch Chikaba. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's been a great week. It's been amazing. Yes. And thank you for bringing us here as a goalkeeper. We're really thankful to you for this. Great pleasure. So what would you like COP27 to deliver that helps the broader global community on agriculture to do that? So I think this is going to be an important moment for the global community to understand the importance of adaptation Mm -hmm. without, of course, slowing down on mitigation. Yeah. And as you know, the financing today is very disproportionate mm -hmm. against Africa. Yeah. Uh, we need more adaptation, we need the tools, we need uh, more smarter collaborations, and we need huge investments. Mm -hmm. We have the tools, but we need to scale them. Mm -hmm. And I think this is going to be a very, very important conversation in terms of what do we need to make sure that we can make a difference in Africa. Yeah. I mean, this morning, Mr. Bill Gates showed that scary graph, which was about growing yeah. hunger. And he said that innovation was the key to responding and reducing that trend. What do you think, in your view, can innovation can deliver? Uh, innovation can really help us leapfrog a lot of the challenges that we have. As you know, climate change is putting a lot of strain Mm -hmm. uh, on the agricultural platform yeah. that is well known for lifting lots of people out of poverty. Yeah. And it is doing that through, you know, it is becoming drier, it is becoming hotter, and then it means some places, and according to the analysis that we have, by 2030, about 30% where a lot of the crops are grown today, like maize, uh, you know, it will become severely dry at that time that we may need to shift what would be the crops that will be adaptable at that time. So we are working on several innovations. One of the key tools that we're working on is what we call predictive modeling, mm -hmm. where we can anticipate what the, 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 uh, the climate is going to be at that time mm -hmm. and begin to work backwards mm -hmm. to come up with crops and livestock mm -hmm. that will thrive under that new climate. Mm -hmm. But we are going to be needing more resources Mm -hmm. to make sure the innovations that we know work can be adopted at scale. Thank you so much, Suno, for giving us your time yeah. and giving us these ideas. We hope to see you in Sharm el-Sheikh and take these ideas forward together. Well, and thanks a lot. Thank you so Bye -bye. much.